Hello lovely stars. Welcome to Star Woman Artistry's Tarot and Oracle. This is Angel. I'm here to read the Zodiac for August 1st to the 15th for the sign Sagittarius. So before I begin, I just want to remind you that this is a general collective energy reading. It may or may not resonate. If it does, that's great. If it doesn't, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You know, how you incorporate it into your life is entirely up to you. Okay. I'm just gonna so let's begin here Sagittarius you have uh, strength reversed the knight of swords reversed six of pentacles upright two of swords upright the page of wands upright the hanged man upright and the High Priestess. So Sagittarius. Emotionally, you know, you're not really feeling um, up to par emotionally. You're kind of feeling, um, you might be dealing with some depressive feelings. You might be feeling um, just really low, low confidence, just in a low cycle where you are um, not the exuberant, confident person that you normally are you might be dealing with some things uh, emotionally that you have you know maybe needed to deal with and you know but whatever it is there I'm feeling stress you know that's what I'm hearing is stressors are really affecting you at this point in time making you feel weaker than normal you know um, usually you know you're pretty confident a Sagittarius but right now you're not sure you have a just feelings of being unsure and and it's really weighing heavy on your heart okay you just feel you feel weak emotionally maybe you feel taken advantage of by family members okay so financially you're in the knight of swords so normally the knight of swords he really rushes in really quickly ready to face you know whatever he needs to you know but in the financial situation it's kind of it's lower it's kind of taking a step back not feeling really confident financially and maybe there's some issues um, that you're dealing with maybe you know setbacks um, so you're really just feeling tight in terms of the financial situation okay I think you know if you're spending overspending then you really need to cut that back I really am getting a feeling of online shopping Okay, so if you're doing a lot of online shopping, cut it out or, you know, maybe you're um, paying of something that's unexpected, an unexpected bill. Could be a judicial matter, whatever it is, you know, you're, you're just not feeling confident. Okay, you're, you're just not feeling like you can handle it, you know, when it's stressing you out. So there's a lot of things that are going on with you financially right now, Sagittarius. So in your thoughts, you got the Six of Pentacles. And I think you're just really hoping that you can get some financial aid, some financial help, you know, just really um, finding ways to generate Pentacles for yourself, you know, and you just really want to um, move on from this situation. I think you're really um, looking at ways to get help and seek financial help in this situation, okay? And in the action, you have the two of swords. So you're going to make a decision about something. I think um, you're going to maybe not make the wisest decision because you are, you know, not really looking at all aspects of, of whatever it is, you know, but you are going to come and make a decision. I think it's, you're really hesitating on it, though, but you will make a decision eventually. OK, you're I think it's better if you weigh your pros and cons in whatever situation it is before you make your final decision and cut something out. OK, maybe you need to reevaluate your budget and, you know, if things aren't balanced, you know, maybe there's some things you can cut out um, that you don't need to deal, you know, at this point in time need to have okay I'm not really feeling this is a love situation but if it is a love situation I think you're just kind of really reevaluating everything you might be f dealing with some abusive um, partner uh, you're not really feeling like you can stand up to them at this point in time if you're in a romantic situation here you know and there might be um, a block in social media maybe you you know you had a fight with your partner and they blocked you you know but you are um, 
you know, really wanting to nurture something. You want to create something with this person, but it's almost like they're they're throwing, you know, not throwing you, throwing you just pennies, you know, little tidbits, you know, here and there, you know, and it's just not what you really truly want. It's not what you're really wanting, you know, even though you're trying to nurture this love, right? There's like this bigger thorn, this wall, this that's in in the way here. I feel okay. So you're, you're deciding whether or not you want to have this relationship or not here, Sagittarius, or how you want to deal with the situation if it's romantic, all right? You're not really liking maybe how this person's treating you. Maybe they're taking advantage of you in some way, you know, so you're not feeling like you, you can um, stand up to them, right? Maybe you feel dependent on them financially, um, so you're, you're just really stuck, right? So with the two of, of wands, your two swords, I mean, you're going to be uh, making a decision, but you really want to make a more logical one. So you, I think you should like maybe take some time to think before you make a rash decision, okay? And in your spirituality card here, um, you have the page of wands. So at the page of wands, you, I think you do have a trust in the divine. I do feel that you are um, really divinely connected, but you might not um, really feel confident in your spiritual connections and being able to manifest or anything like that. I think you take a very childlike outlook from it. Um, it's not really important to you you know it's there when you need it but not really um you don't really pay attention to it at times you know so it's kind of like you you know you need to nurture this and you want to nurture um your divine relationship but you're unsure how to go about it and what to do so it's kind of going to take some time to learn some new things and maybe learning some new rituals and and you know learning the things you need to know in order to enrich your life in a spiritual way okay and the outcome card here, you have the hanged man. So you're kind of just taking your time. You're reevaluating everything. You're reassessing everything. You know, you're making sure that whatever decision you make is going to be the right one for you. So you're kind of just taking a step back. You re you know you don't want to make a very rash decision. You don't want to um, just rush into something. You know, even though you know you have to make these decisions, you're going to take your time with it. You're not going to let anyone... Um, push you to it when you're ready to unstuck yourself from a situation that then you're going to unstuck yourself okay so you're the only one can do that can do that you know because but the hanged man he's hanging there upside down but he's not fully stuck he can take himself down at any time okay and this is where you're at Sagittarius you know that you aren't going to be pushed into a direction you don't want to go so you're going to reassess and reevaluate everything be and make sure that it's the right decision for you okay so before you really decide your final outcome you're just going to reevaluate and reassess everything okay and in your wish card, you're the high priestess. And the high priestess is like spiritually connected, spiritually balanced. You know, she knows how to manifest everything that she wants in her life. She knows she has a divine connection. You know, she, she's very nurturing, very intuitive, highly intuitive. And this is your wish card is that you can rely on your intuition more. You, you want to learn how to be able to do that. Okay. And to be able to manifest. And, you know, so I think you're going to take the time, Sagittarius, to start learning those things and start feeling connected to the divine energy. You you know, and if you, you know, whatever you're learning, you know, it's going to just enhance your life. All right. So that's where you're at here. I'm going to move on to your Oracle reading. So self-forgiveness, let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. So whatever issues you're holding on to or harboring here, Sagittarius, it's time for you to work on letting them go and to help heal yourself, okay? And help heal your childhood, your inner child, you know, that kind of stuff. Doing some self-healing, okay? And forgiving yourself for any wrongdoing that you've done to other people, okay? Caretaker, I get you need to really balance yourself and feel um, really 100% within yourself and take care of yourself and nurture yourself okay because see these two halves you know you need to balance that within yourself your yin and your yang kind of stuff and just really feel that peace within your own heart here Sagittarius so kind of do some chakra work you know balancing your your heart chakra that kind of stuff turquoise a turquoise crystal is color blue it's healing magic works on you so, you know, you need some turquoise for communication and learning how to speak um, more clearly and expressing yourself. And I have a piece of turquoise here. So this is a good piece of stone to have um, if for communication. All right. 
Morning memory, its healing gift runs a destined course, the morning dawn, our inspired source. So meditate under the sun. So maybe that's what you need to do is start doing some more morning meditations. And just that's where you're going to get your answers with the divine, okay? That's where you're going to get your downloads. When you live in the moment, you will discover delight in simple things. So just really enjoy life and remember that life isn't always complicated, okay? Sometimes it's just going out and watching the sunrise or watching the sunset. Those are just really simple things to do, you know, and you'll feel really connected, all right? So friends, the most unlikely friendships can form. Like variegated lichens on hard rock, they create a tight bond. So friends, like spending more time with your friends, maybe you're a social person and due to COVID-19, you haven't been able to spend as much time with your friends. You know, there's other ways, there's social media, there's other ways to connect with your friends. You know, um, I'm seeing like doing like a, a old fashioned chain letter. They used to do them, you know, and send them to all your friends and stuff like that. I don't know why that came up, but something like that, you know, like something similar to that, okay? So Sagittarius, I hope you have a wonderful August. I look forward to reading for you again. Thank you for for stopping by i really appreciate that you have taken the time to watch my video and have a wonderful month talk to you soon bye now